today I am going to talk about hard water. And I know you're like, hard water? What's hard water? Water's not hard, it's not soft, it just slips right through your fingers. Um, water's wet. But um, there is a such thing as hard water. And I didn't know I had hard water for the longest time. And what really made me look into hard water was the fact that my skin was breaking out and I was itching like crazy. And I moved into this house about five years ago and I just got um, the hard water under control within the last like five months. So how do you know if you have hard water? Uh, hard water, um, you will know if, for example, when you wash your hair and your hair looks very, very dull. Um, or if you, when you wash your hair and you do your deep conditioning and you let it sit for however long you want to and then you go to comb the conditioner and you have this amazing slit and it feels so soft and everything, then you go back in the shower and you or to the sink and you rinse the conditioner out and then you put that comb back to your hair and it's like hard to go through. Like how in the world did your hair just get tangled and it was just so soft a second ago? It's because the hard water did that to your hair. Um, hard water is when there's mineral deposits that are left onto your hair. So they're never washed out. There's just build up on top of build up on top of build up of your hair and no moisture can get into your hair. Your hair looks very dull, very dry. No matter how many products you use, no matter what type of expensive products you use, your hair still looks dry. And that's what was happening to me. So I had to get that under control. And then also, in my on my skin, I would get out the shower and then there's like this ashy film on my on my arms and on my back and my stomach. That's hard water um, deposit mineral deposits that's left onto your body. And I was itching and everything. So what I did, instead of redoing the filtration system in my home, what I did was I went out and got a handheld um, shower head and it's still dripping but um, not just any handheld shower head but in here it has uh, a filter inside the body of it I actually took the filter out so I can show it to you this is the filter right here and I'm gonna do a close-up on it as well and I've had this filter in there for a few months so you you use it like about every two or three months you change this out so I am about to switch this nasty one out in for this one this is the new one so let me show you how you use it on this shower head there is a lock and unlock right here and so you just want to twist it to the unlock setting pull it open and then you want to insert your filter just like that then you put it back into the unlock position so you can get it in there and then twist it to the lock position so now it is locked and it's ready to go. I'm going to attach it back into the shower and, and I'll be ready to use it tonight when I take my shower. And um, my skin comes out clear, like the, my skin on my face is more clear. Uh, although I did have some breakouts in the last month, but that was from like stress. I was completely stressed out in the month of February. But um, once you get one of these filters you will notice almost instantly that your hair will be shinier and it will be smoother and then you'll notice that your hair products will actually work better because there's nothing left on your hair um i noticed another thing especially if you relax your hair it's highly important like how i said important it's um highly important that you do not have hard water because relaxers in itself has minerals in it and you try when you use the the um the neutralizing shampoo you're trying to strip all the all the minerals off but that hard water is still putting minerals back onto your hair have you ever relaxed your hair and your hair is so hard after you relax it you probably got hard water um have you ever washed your hair deep conditioning deep conditioned it and then after you let it air dry or you blow dried it and then you went to go and flat on your hair and your hair is stiff it don't move you probably got hard water so you can use all the products that you want you can go out and get fifty sixty dollar shampoos and you're like why is this stuff not working you can use you can follow the biggest hair gurus on youtube and follow their regimen to a T and wonder why your hair's not growing your hair's not flowing like theirs you probably got hard water 
So that was the main thing that I had to get under control. And you will notice, like once I, like I said before, you will notice that your products will work amazingly. Now that's my little spiel on um, hard water and how hard water can damage your hair. And that um, no matter how many products you have, if your water is is the problem, you're just wasting money. The money is actually going down the drain. And water is supposed to be our best friend. That's like the main component of moisture. Like that's where you run to get your moisture from. So you don't want to run to hard water. Water is supposed to make everything work basically like you put the shampoo in your hair you got to get it out with water so you want to make sure that your water is not hard no minerals are in there no calcium or chlorine i know there's some states that and and some communities that actually have chlorine in their in their water you can almost smell it when you're taking a shower it's like almost like you're taking a shower with pool water so and and this actually gets the chlorine out as well i will do an up close on the um the brand name i actually have a picture um, that I put on on Instagram a few months ago, so I will insert that picture. So you can see what what the um, thing looked like in its packaging. But these are the um, replacement cartridges, and it's by um, Sprite Shower. And this is the filters, the little cartridges. And I have one left, so I took the one out, and I have one left, and this one's going to go in the trash right here. Um, also, this does not change the pressure. Um, it does not compromise the pressure, the water pressure. So you still feel that good water pressure in your body. If anything, it makes it feel better. So that's my little spiel to get rid of hard water. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was just a little something something that I wanted to add in there because a lot of people say, your hair's so shiny, it looks so healthy, what do you do? I got your products, I do what you do, but mine just don't look like that. I got hard water. So um, that's what you, you can look into it, um, do your research. I, I feel that when you look at someone on YouTube and and you see the products that they use stuff like that it's always good to do your research before you jump out um, and and do what someone does but I feel that if anything if you don't listen to any product that I use or anything make sure that you don't have hard water because even if you go and you buy you know like I buy shampoo that's like thirty dollars but if you buy shampoo that's like five dollars that may be the best shampoo for your hair but you will not be able to know that if you still got hard water so try it out let me know in the comments below or if you if you yourself have experienced hard water and you have changed it with a filter shower head let all the people in the comments below know that hey it does work and I will see you guys in the next video my next video will my next hair video will be on Thursday and that will be my length check because I'll be middle in the I'll be like three months into the hair challenge um, the hair challenge is over in June and so March is the middle of it because um, it started in in um, December. But I'm rambling now and I'm going to go and I will see you guys next time.